I'm just going to show you a few ways to alter Cricut flowers. All these are done using the George cartridge. It's the first flower on George. And I've got all the Prima flowers are so expensive. And I think they also look a little bit bland. So I've got all sorts of strategies for altering them. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to put a line down the middle of the flower, which I do simply using a score power, or you can use the Martha Stewart embossing board. And that gives you the, um, the look of a Prima straight away. I curl around the flowers usually just by winding them around the tip of the pencil and that gives them a bit of dimension as well. Uh, sometimes I use, I usually use two or three layers. Here's, these have been cut out of vellum and they have an altogether different look because they're so pretty and delicate. And I always use at least two or three layers for those. This one has been uh, the different layers have been pressed into an embossing pad and then brushed with perfect pearls that I put on with a brush and that gives a lovely soft elegant sheen. This one has simply got little heart jewels all over it. It'd be really pretty for an anniversary card. I just did that in a single layer. This one is the tiny half paper again, and it's simply the edges have just been well inked with a red ink pen and a gem popped on the middle. This one looks altogether different. It is the same flower. Um, these look lovely, especially if you don't have to post a card, uh, if you're just giving it to somebody. It almost looks like chrysanthemum. All I did was snip the petals down uh, so far with the uh, scissors and then just curled them around an embossing tool, the narrow end of an embossing tool, semi curl forward, semi curl back. This one was glittered using my favorite method of glittering for small things where I take a Xylon machine and I run <coughs> the element in so that the pattern side is going to be glittered. So put it in, so pull it through and then dump glitter on it and you get an absolutely perfect layer of glittering every time. <coughs> this little one has got dots of red liquid pearls which gives quite a dimensional look to it. This one, I just drew lines with a quickie glue pen and lots of, quite a coarse glitter on this one. And it's got a couple of layers, so that's quite glitzy. This one, I just glittered the ends of the petals and then the circle in the middle, I glued and dumped some little micro beads on, the type that go all over the place whenever I use them. I'm picking them up for months afterwards. Uh, here they are. They all seem to have a life of their own, those things. But they do look pretty. That one is just a very simple one that's been curled and it has the lines on the middle. Whether that's showing, I don't know. And a little button in the middle. And this last one, I'm not sure if the, again, if the gleam is going to show, um, but that was simply brushed with this bronzing wax that you can buy usually from scrapbook stores. And you apply it with a paint dauber that you just uh, dab it on. And it does go, that's quite an elegant, an elegant look. So there we go. I hope that gives you some ideas for jazzing up your cricket flowers. Uh, have fun.
and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.